Hello and welcome in to a special edition of State Line Slam. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. I'm Michael Tilka. While we may have fewer games than normal for a Friday night, boy, did this select bunch live up to the postseason hype as we had comebacks, upsets, overtime thrillers, and more for you this evening. So let's not waste any more time and get right into the action, shall we? Let's get into our first regional championship of the night. Boylan looking for their first regional since 2020. Dixon looking for their first regional title since 2003, the first one in these kids' lifetimes. Great game in the early going, early second quarter, and Elena Petalber drains the triple, but the Duchesses still lead this one. 13 to 12 still in the first Dixon's bread and butter this evening was on the boards and second chance points as Hallie Williamson gets the board in the bucket she had 19 points 21 15 lead for the third seed second half action Duchesses dominating the paint on defense as well as Jesse Pittman hands out an invite to the block party great defensive play there but Titans would respond as Lily Esparza the Denver commit finally scores her first points on an and one late in the third quarter 30 24 Duchess's lead closing out the third now it's rinse and repeat for Williamson as she converts and party like it's 2003 Sock Valley because the Duchesses move on to the sectionals for the first time in over 20 years coach how did your team make it here heart they just have a lot of heart and we've had nothing but kids with heart throughout all my years this group just got to step up and, and, and do the things they did tonight. Um, and that's what stands out with all the kids that have played for us over the years. And it's what stands out with these guys is they have that heart. I've never been so much like more proud than, like of this team than I have ever been. Like I know I knew we could do it from the start. And so it was just amazing that we were able to do that. Congratulations to Dixon Spartans. Sophia Classic opens the scoring in this one between Sycamore and Belvedere. Spartans looking for their third straight regional title. And here comes Classic from the far wing. That's a long shot for an early 3-0 lead. Then freshman Quinn Carrier hits from way beyond the arc for her third straight triple. She would end up with five straight threes. Spartans out to a quick 12-0 league. Bucks trying to get on the board. Maggie Sternquist stops and pops in the jumper. Bucks down 14 to 12, though later down 27-5. Ariana LeBeau, nice drive in the lane, puts up the floater and it's 27-7 for the top seed. Another attempt beyond the arc for Sparty this time. Carrier shows off in the paint with the putback and reverse lay-in. Big start propels Sycamore to a huge win. They take this one 68-38. Moving to Class 2A in the GK Regional, Summit Valley looking for its first regional title since 2016-17 as they face Aurora Central Catholic in the second cards. Moving the ball around the perim perimeter, Amelia Dunseth drains the three. Cards trail though, 29-23. At the break, Stillman Valley starts the third, though, on an 8-0 run. Cards with a little tic-tac-toe. And Maya Jansen with the bank shot and one. Cards would lead 39-37, heading into the fourth. Less than two minutes left in the game. Cards up one. Taylor Davidson takes it herself. That floater would be a part of a 30-piece for the junior. Now, less than 30 seconds left. Stillman up 51-48, cards playing keep away until Davidson gets a hold of the ball. Chargers with no choice but to foul. Davidson sinks both, and the cards use an explosive third to take the 2A regional. 53-48 is your final there. We head on down to Rockford Christian next elsewhere in the Oregon 2A sectional as the number three seed Marion Central taking on the number two Byron Tigers in the RC regional final. A lot of highlights. Let's start off the game. Carson Belskis to Aubrey Fuller who gets the Tigers on the board early 2-0. to zero. Second quarter, less than four minutes left. Tie game 26-26. Tigers passing the ball around and it ends on a Belskis three-pointer. 29-26 for the reigning 2A runner-up. Fourth quarter now. 20 seconds left. 52-50. Marion Central. Byron one last try. Malia Morton sinks the game tying basket to send it to overtime to OT 60 58 Marion Central Aubrey Fuller sinking the three-point shot to give the Tigers the lead 61 58 but the Hurricanes 
Wood Forest double overtime, 63 to 63. Double OT, 67, 66. Hurricanes, Macy Groharing showing her movement as she sneaks her way to a two point shot, 68, 67. Byron Butt, Marion coming away with the five point double overtime win. Byron misses out on a chance for a second straight run to state. Great season for them, though. All their players will be returning next year. No seniors on that squad. Talk about a scary team that finished 9-0 in the BNC this year. The top-ranked Galena girls taking on East Dubuque in class. 1A in the Lena Winslow sectional out at Warren to start things off. Senior Erica Dolan with the drive around an easy layup to make it 2 to nothing for East Dubuque. Some more first quarter action. Senior Taylor Burcham passes to Addie Heffel for the short jumper, making it 7-6. East Dubuque still leading. Could the number one team in Class 1A be on upset alert? In the second quarter, though, it's Taylor Burcham completing the steal and passing down the court to Gracie Furlong. Gracie with an assist to Maya McCoy. What a hustle play. It's 22-9. Galena leading now more in the second quarter, leading the way for East Dubuque. Erica Dolan with the easy layup. 24-11 though, Galena still ahead, still in the second quarter. Junior Gracie for, for long two. Taylor Burcham, four, three. Pirates roll. Galena wins the sectional next week. They take it by 25.